Hey everyone, this is Evan, Inside Sales Specialist with Johnson Plastics Plus. Um, today, uh, we're here to talk about a new product that we're excited to launch called Surmark Ultra. Surmark Ultra is a new formula. Um, for those of you who may already be familiar with Surmark, it is a laser engraving product that allows you to etch and mark onto certain surfaces. Um, prior to now, you needed a different Surmark formulation depending on the product you were trying to print on. Um, for example, different formula for stainless steel, another formula for ceramic and glass, etc. Um, so what Surmark was able to do, they were able to take the capabilities of all of those and roll it into one product called Surmark Ultra. Um, so that's what we're talking about today. We have a video actually prepared that we're going to go to in just a little bit that we filmed in our fabrication shop that's going to take you through the processes to get the right results for that product and show you what it can do. But while I have you here, I do want to show you some examples of what it looks like for those of you who maybe have not handled the product before or worked with it. The first one I want to show you is this neat little tumbler right here. You can see there's a lot of detail and a lot of precision um, that goes into that marking on there. Um, it gives you this really rich, uh, deep black uh, marking that goes on to the product. And awesome part about that is it's very vivid, it's very durable. Um, they do recommend hand washing for this type of product. Um, it can go through the dishwasher, uh, but for the longevity of that marking on there, hand washing is recommended. Now, most of you that have worked with Surmark in the past have probably seen it on metal. This is the same Surmark Ultra, but on a typical uh, pint glass that you can pick up from a big box store. Really beautiful, vivid and precise marking onto that glass that it makes, which is great. And again, same product marked onto a ceramic tile. Very vivid, very crisp, really nice marking. Um, so the Surmark product is available in a few different uh, configurations, right? You have aerosols designed to make it easy to apply, shake it for about a minute or so, maybe a little bit longer. You want to make sure that it, uh, everything gets uh, you know, mixed in thoroughly, just like spray paint. Um, they added this uh, cool little sample size for you to kind of try out and see how this fits in for you and your business. And then we also have three different sizes of the Surmark paste. Now, this is a concentrate. You will need to dilute this, a one-to-one -one ratio with denatured alcohol or ethanol. Um, to get the appropriate result. And um, after it's been diluted, you don't want to keep that or store it or anything. You want to just mix up what you need um, at that time uh, for your dilution. And there's three different sizes available for that. So, um, well, without further ado, I do want to go ahead and uh, show you a neat little video that we put together down in our fabrication shop, walking you through uh, how to use this technology, get the best results, and showing you what it can do. So this is the new Surmark Ultra Spray. This is in an aerosol can, uh, just like the traditional Surmark was, but this one uh, is a little bit different. It's a little better formulation. This is also uh, good for not only stainless steel, but for glass and for ceramic as well. So we're excited to have this. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, we're gonna pick up our can and we're gonna make sure that we get this good and mixed up. So we're going to shake the can. Um, you're gonna hear on the inside, there's a little ball want to make sure that you shake that until the ball comes loose it's in there you'll hear it as we go rattling around so we're going to shake this for about a minute to a minute and a half until that's good and loose and then we'll be ready to go so now we've got our product all nice and shook up we're going to give it a quick little test spray here we're going to hold this about eight to ten inches away give a nice clean spray with nice even strokes we want to make sure we get nice uniform coverage you see there we don't have any streaking so we've got a nice spray there so we're going to let that dry and then we're ready to laser so now that we've got our tumbler here we've let this air dry for three to four minutes we don't want to force dry this you don't want to use a hair dryer or a fan or anything like that just let it naturally air dry for three to four minutes and we're going to set it here on our rotary attachment so we've got this here we're just going to set it nice and right there we're going to make sure we have pre-adjusted we've already adjusted our elevation here we're going to get ready to uh, send our job over to the laser. 
Okay, so we're running this job today on a 75 watt CO2 laser. Uh, it's got a three inch lens on it and we've got our settings at 90 power and 25 speed. And of course that'll vary uh, depending on your laser and uh, what you're lasering. Okay, so now all we need to do is grab a sponge, come on over to our sink, and as you notice when we start running the water here and just a little bit of light pressure, all of the unused uh, Surmark just wipes away. It might be a little bit that sticks here um, where it was coming in contact with the, the rotary attachment, but we're just wiping this all away and you can see it just comes off super easy and where we lasered is staying in place. So don't have to worry about that rubbing off while you're doing the cleaning here and that's about all we've got. And there you can see we've got a really nice laser mark on our stainless steel tumbler using Surmark Ultra. So we're going to use the exact same Surmark Ultra spray on this glass tumbler that we just purchased at a store. And that's the great thing about the new Surmark Ultra is that you can use it for the stainless steel tumbler like we just did or a glass tumbler like we have here. So we're going to give this a spray or head on over to the laser and we'll show you how this turns out. So now we've got our glass tumbler and again we've done just like we did with the stainless steel one where we've let it dry. We're going to set it here on our rotary attachment. We're going to get ready to send the job over and again you want to make sure you just let this air dry, don't force dry it. So for this tumbler we're going to do again, uh, we're on a 75 watt laser, we're going to do 15 power and 50 speed. Again, 15 power and 50 speed, we don't want to uh, go too heavy on the power. And you may want to do a couple test, uh, get a couple extra of these if you're going to be doing glass tumblers or pint glasses and just do a test one or two because the power and speed is going to vary depending on the uh, makeup of the glass and how thick the glass is. And you can see here we're all ready to take this over to our wash basin and give it a quick rinse and we'll be good to go. And just like we did for the stainless steel tumbler, we're going to give this a quick rinse and a wipe off with a sponge. And you can see the unused Surmark just washes right away and we are left with a beautiful lasered mark right on our pint glass. So Surmark Ultra also comes in a paste form. So this is going to be a concentrate, a little bit different. You're going to apply this with a brush or an airbrush or a paint gun or something like that. But we're going to dilute this concentrate. The first thing we need to do is shake it for about a minute, minute and a half. Uh, again, just like we did with the aerosol can. Now uh, we're going to pour this into, uh, we've just got a sample mug here that we're going to pour this into it again because we want to dilute this. Um, this is a concentrate, so if you use it straight out as a concentrate, you're going to be wasting product. You can again use a foam brush, which we're going to use today because we're going to be putting this on a ceramic tile, but you could also use an airbrush or a paint gun, uh, any of those items will work for this. And again, this is a little bit easier to work with if you're working in a smaller area. We're going to dilute this today with some denatured alcohol, but you could also use ethanol. Uh, we just choose to use the denatured alcohol. We're going to do about a one-to-one -one mixture. So we're going to pour a little bit in our mug here, just a little bit. Again, this tile is not that big, so we don't have to use a whole lot of this. And again, we're going to get our denatured alcohol here and pour that in and about a one to one mixture. Again, this is a small job, so we're gonna do about a one to one ratio. And now we're just gonna mix it up with our foam brush. Now it's important that the brush is dry. We don't want any other moisture or water getting in there as we're stirring this up. So we're gonna mix this up here. And we're gonna grab our ceramic tile and we're gonna do nice even strokes as we go across here to get that nice coverage. Uh, you want to try and avoid brush marks as much as possible, which is why we're using the foam brush. And we're going to let that dry and then we're going to take it over to our laser. And what we've got here, we've actually got a piece of acrylic that we're going to use as a template. So we've just drawn our template on there so we can put the tile right on the acrylic. 
know exactly where it goes so we don't have to reline it up every time. So I'm going to set the tile down here. And again, we're going to get ready to uh, laser. So we'll send the job over. And our settings for the tile here, we're going to use a uh, 25 power 50 speed. And again, this is a 75 watt laser. Now that we're done, we've got our nice laser marking here, so we're going to take it over and give it a quick wash. And just like we did for our other items, we're just taking a sponge and giving it a nice uh, wipe off here. And you can see we've got a beautiful contrasting mark here on our ceramic tile using the Surmark Ultra paste. And there you have it for the new Surmark Ultra product line. Again, you can laser on a wide range of products with one Surmark Ultra product. You can see...